Hey guys, Michał from TechTest Tutorials and in today's video we are going to review Lenovo T500P business line notebook. As always we are going to install RAM, SSD, we are going to take a look at some design changes that they have done, cover the basic features of this laptop and what the hell, we are going also to compare it with its predecessor. So without a further delay, let's take a look. So let's start this review with a mini unboxing and there will be actually not much to see in this unboxing because the way that I'm trying to pick up the laptop is I'm always trying to take the cheapest one with a decent CPU that I can and then I'm doing the, all the necessary upgrades myself. In this case this would mean that I will be swapping the mechanical drive, 1TB mechanical drive with an SSD from a data and also I will expand the RAM so this laptop came with pre-installed 4 gigs of RAM because we've got only two slots I will have to throw this uh, one module away and we are going to install two 8 gigabytes sticks so we could have 16 gigabytes of RAM of total now this is recommended like for a little bit more advanced user although I think that uh, all my viewers know how to install a system on a fresh fresh drive so this laptop actually came without an operating system so I will have to take a CD and install it from the scratch up but that's not a big problem we will have a clean installation on this laptop without any crapware or pre-installed software so we will be able to choose only the things that we want to and the installation process as shown here is actually very very simple and straightforward you only need a standard Phillips screwdriver just two screws the bottom cover pops up then you got the access to uh, to the drive you can install SSD you can install RAM modules very very easy upgrade process I would kind of like recommend uh, anybody who who's got uh, some basic technical skills to try to perform the upgrade himself because he will get uh, like more control over which kind of drive he would like to choose or uh, how much memory you would like to install uh, this is very very easy in this kind of Lenovo laptops not often that we see with we are in the era where everything is anybody and that's not easy to install anything actually as you can see uh, even access to uh, to radio module is very very easy you could install 3G module if you would like to so that's not a problem at all Speaking about problems, the first one you can see right uh, on the screen. So there is not enough place for your left hand to rest underneath the keyboard. And the problem is they added a decent numpad to the right, on the right side, and so they had to move the Kuverty keyboard to the left. And right beneath those, this Kuverty keyboard there is a big touchpad. This means not enough place for your left hand to rest during the typing. That wasn't uh, the greatest experience that I had with the keyboard, although the keyboard is pretty decent. Uh, another thing that they had to do is they removed uh, those dedicated buttons that you had for a track point. I'm not a big user of a track point. I know some people like this and if you liked it before you know that those dedicated buttons are very very important if you are going to use the damn thing. So I think they might as well remove completely the track point because in this model the T500P uh, is actually useless. You could choose T500 without the letter P and have those dedicated buttons uh, if you are a track point user, keep that in mind, T500P is probably not for you. The second thing about this touchpad, I kind of like this, but my model had a little bit problem. So this, uh, this touchpad was pretty loud as I was trying to click this and that wasn't very pleasant. I will try to demonstrate this.
Now whether this is going to be for you an issue or not, I would strongly recommend you before you buy it uh, to go to a store and check this out. Maybe it was only the one that I picked up was felt that flimsy and loud, but I kind of like didn't like to click on this touchpad, as weird as this may sound. The second thing I didn't like about this laptop is you can take a look right now to uh, see what's missing there. So uh, we are the Lenovo T series user and we like this. We like to have a lamp so we can work in the darker environment and just turn it on. It's now gone in the series and that's bad, I think. It's actually funny how adding a numpad to, to a laptop can change a whole bunch of things. Now, if you take a look at T520, it had those big speakers on both sides and they were uh, facing up. And now we've got this. Seriously, it's just a small cut uh, and there we've got a speaker. So obviously not enough place for the bass to be decently produced. The mids are high and highs are decent, but I kind of like the T520 before and the speaker that it had than this one, because if you are going to place this, for example, on your bed, the sound uh, where is going to be a dull and not loud enough and this is not going to be the greatest sound experience that you could get uh, from a laptop, especially at this price point. So they could like kind of add uh, this speaker right beneath uh, the monitor. There is enough place, but they decided not to. So, okay, enough complaining. Now, one of the features that I like about this laptop is actually this monitor. It's a 1080p TN panel with a matte finish, so this means you could work outside. It gets uh, bright enough, uh, the viewing angles are okay, the colors are vivid. Although, if you would like to get some better color reproduction, you should uh, try to pick up the T. Uh, 540p with the 3k panel I guess it's an IPS panel uh, both of these laptops are powered by GTX 730m this is by any means not a gaming GPU so stay away from gaming maybe some casual but I'm not so sure if it had like 755m or something like this you could game on this this is a straightforward uh, business laptop but the monitor is pretty decent. Now about the performance. Uh, I have done a stress test of this uh, laptop and it performed great. So uh, right after 7 or 10 minutes um, under a full load with uh, this cover closed and in the docking station this laptop uh, the temperatures on the CPU were about mid 80s so 86 celsius degrees it wasn't throttling at all so uh, it boosted up uh, to 2.9 uh, with a voltage around 0 0.981 volts uh, it hit it hit it, its uh, uh, power consumption limit at uh, 47 watts and it kept it all the time so the fan was spinning at 3000 rpms being a, you were able to hear this, uh, but uh, that was not uh, something unpleasant. So even in the worst case scenario, so when this laptop is placed on the docking station, it's closed. So it's pretty difficult to cool this. It's performed great, turbo boosted all the way up to almost 3 gigahertz and maintaining the temperatures uh, maintaining the speed, not thermal throttling, and this is impressive. If you are looking for a real laptop, not some kind of M processor or something with two cores only, if you are going to uh, choose a laptop that it's supposed to be fast at some different business task or whatsoever, this is the place to go and this is that what uh, the Lenovo T-Series is showing its best. So I was pretty happy with the performance, pretty happy with the way it was cooled 
and not getting loud at the very same times because sometimes if the fan spins uh, like 4000 rpms it's almost impossible to 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 think when are you are sitting in front of this laptop and this is the lenovo thinkpad so you should be able to do it anyway um great uh, great great cpu uh, performance very stable not uh, too hot nothing that it, it didn't turn off throttle so great great experience uh, when it comes to a performance so it is conclusion time and i was supposed to give the final judgment over this laptop although i think this have never been as complicated as it is right now so i have showed you all the problems that i had with this laptop all the features that i think that are great about this and the decision is up to you i had fun playing with this laptop and for the purpose that i have chose it it's it's going to do its job but uh, I strongly recommend you should go to a store, try one out, see how it feels, then you could uh, give the final judgment actually with your wallet, whether you are going to buy this model or not. Anyway guys, I hope that you like this video you've seen. Uh, if that's the case, please remember to smash this like button because this really helps me out and encourages me to produce more videos. And speaking about producing more videos, right around the corner is cheapest possible Freenas build. So if you are interested in that kind of videos, maybe you should try also to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks again guys and see you very soon.